Thank you very much. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. And thank you to the Brain Foundation. This is obviously a great opportunity and a difficult grant to get, so that's really exciting. Um, so my grant is to look at exercise, gene expression and Alzheimer's disease. So maybe if you don't know a lot about Alzheimer's disease, I'll just give you a bit of background. Um, so Alzheimer's disease is a form of dementia and it's the most common form of dementia. Uh, it's caused by a buildup of proteins that lead to cell death, a brain cell death, um, which then leads to the atrophy of the brain. So they lose a lot of volume in the brain. Um, and it starts with a decline in things like memory and thinking, and as the disease progresses, um, a loss of self-care. And Alzheimer's disease is a fatal condition, and it does obviously end in death. Um, but to date, there's no cure or treatment for Alzheimer's disease, so a lot of research is starting to turn towards lifestyle measures, such as um, physical activity, as a prevention measure for Alzheimer's. And indeed, there's a lot of research showing that high levels of exercise are associated with reduced Alzheimer's disease risk, but we still don't know a lot about what's happening in that area. Um, and specifically, what we want to do is get effective exercise programs. So not just anything, we want to be able to say, this is what you need to do in terms of exercise to reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease. So at my research, um, this particular grant that I've received is building on a fellowship that I received from um, the NHMRC Institute of Dementia, where I'm looking at um, six months of high intensity and low intensity exercise on measures in the brain from MRI, as well as a lot of cognitive assessments, looking at memory and thinking. Uh, and this particular grant will fund an extension to that project where I'll be looking at gene expression, in particular looking at genes that we know are associated with Alzheimer's disease, and I'll be looking at that gene expression following that exercise intervention. So ultimately what we want to be able to do is say that um, for this particular person, this is the exercise you should be doing to reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease. And for this particular person, this is what you should be doing. So that's our aim for our, of our research. Thank you.